Agricultural producers in Florida who are looking to save water are taking advantage of an innovative service called Mobile Irrigation Labs. When you look at the purpose of the Mobile ir Irrigation Lab, it enables landowners to be able to manage their water. Irrigation systems. It's easier to conserve water than it is to find new water sources. And if the recommendations of their mobile irrigation labs are put in place, then that allows landowners to be able to really conserve water. The mobile irrigation labs uh, statewide uh, since 2009, we've recognized about an 18 million gallon per day savings in water. Um, by having evaluation performed and the recommendations that the mobile irrigation labs provide um, implemented out on the farms. The mobile irrigation labs receive funding and support from several partnering agencies. The Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services, state water management districts, local resource conservation and development councils, counties and utilities, local soil and water conservation districts, and the USDA's Natural Resources Conservation Service. A mobile irrigation lab is a service where staff will come out that is trained and they can go through your irrigation system, any type of irrigation system, and evaluate it and let you know your efficiency, your application rate, flows, pressures, anything that's going on with your irrigation system. And, and we can start at the pump, see what the RPMs are, see what the pressure operating, any clogs in the filter, all the way to where it makes it into the field. And then we're looking for how the uniformity is in between the sprinklers. And we'll make sure everything's being applied evenly. Another advantage of our services, we'll provide a report to the grower and they can take that to NRCS for financial and technical assistance. The mobile irrigation lab has benefited the clients and our NRCS customers by helping us establish our inventory and evaluation, by getting our row spacings, our well and our pump information for us to get a comprehensive conservation plan to them. We wanted the mobile irrigation lab out here for evaluation of water usage, effectiveness of the irrigation system because water is expensive, diesel is expensive, and if we can save every drop of water that's our aim. We want to be good stewards of that water. Yeah, one of the best parts about the program is it's free. They've come out and, and do the surveys for us and everything is, uh, is free of charge and, and anonymous. They're not out there to, to, to throw you in water jail. They're not the water police. They're just out there to help you conserve water. It's not uncommon for their recommendations to save us uh, anywhere between 15 and 20 percent on our water. As we get more efficient with the water, that saves us diesel fuel on the diesel pumps, that saves us electricity on the electric pumps, uh, makes us more efficient with our water fertilizer, uh, just savings across the board really. We farm several crops year in and year out for multiple years and uh, one thing that we recognize from the reports we got from mobile irrigation labs are that these pumps after a certain period of time become worn out and they're not near as efficient. They're not putting out the water that they should be, so we're not applying the water to the crop in the way that we'd like to see it done. So that's a huge benefit to using a mobile irrigation lab. By utilizing the mobile irrigation lab, there are potential uh, savings, uh, not only in electric bills, but in, in water usage. It could be anywhere from 20 to 30 percent is what we're seeing. I would recommend that uh, any uh, farmer utilize the mobile irrigation lab. Uh, they're going to really be astonished at the things that they come up with. The Agricultural Mobile Irrigation Lab is used throughout the state of Florida because there are several of them. And throughout the state there's all kinds of different crops that are used. And all these people are using different kinds of irrigation systems. Uh, so anybody that's growing anything, and, and it doesn't have to be a thousand acres, you know, you might only have a hundred acres. So it's not like you're restricted by your acreage. It's just if you want to be more efficient growing your crops, if you care about the St. John's River, if you can, uh, care about the aquifer and how much water is coming out of there, then this is for you. The St. John's River is considered an impaired water body by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. The Florida Department of Agriculture is funding the Floridan Mobile Irrigation Lab to decrease sediment and nutrients from entering the aquifer that provides water to the river. 
Uh, we're here in Hastings, Florida on a vegetable farm that's in close proximity to the St. John's River. Um, water quality monitoring here in the St. John's area has shown that there are some impairments and some of those impairments are due to nutrients getting into the water resource. So the Department of Agriculture, along with several of our agencies, the USDA Natural Resource Conservation Service, um, the IFAS, and then also with the Department of Environmental Protection and St. John's Water Management District. We did a project here on this farm um, to try and address both water savings, water conservation, and nutrient loading. What we're doing with the Mobile Irrigation Lab is we're trying to limit the amount of runoff that we put into the St. John's River. And as a farmer, you know, we, our, our land is, is what we really depend on for making a living. And so we're, we're trying to protect the river and our land, save money, and help everything involved. With uh, the furrow irrigation is what we used before. And, you know, it was a, it's a good system, but it's, it, you, have, you waste a lot of water with it. And with the, the drip irrigation, I'm not sure how much we're saving. We'll have that information down the road, but I'm sure it's got to be a phenomenal amount of water. Water quantity is a major issue. And every opportunity that we have to conserve water is only good for the state. It's good for the state and it's good for the nation, and especially good for the farmer, because it's good for their bottom line. I have a more sustainable farm because of the mobile irrigation lab. We can come in, look at one specific field, and give them a report that basically tells them what issues we found and how they can make it better. Give us a call. We'll come out and help you.